The U.S. is drawing down its military forces in Iraq from 5,200 to 3,000, according to the commander of the U.S. Central Command in West Asia. The news comes as Trump faces backlash over allegations that he called U.S. troops losers and suckers, and as he trails his opponent, former Vice President Joe Biden, in the polls just weeks ahead of the November 3 presidential election. The announcements also came two days after Trump accused Pentagon leaders of waging wars to ensure contractors stay happy. General Frank McKenzie, commander of U.S. Central Command, said the force reduction in Iraq is due to the great progress the Iraqi forces have made and in consultation and coordination with the government of Iraq and the U.S. coalition partners. McKenzie failed to explain if by progress he meant the Iraqi counterterrorism services, which have recently taken part in several high-profile operations against the only power in Iraq capable of eliminating Daesh, that is the popular mobilization units. McKenzie also failed to explain if their move was per the Iraqi parliament's vote to obligate Iraq's government to work towards ending the presence of all foreign troops on Iraqi soil. The vote that represented a rebuke of the United States over its illegal targeted assassination of Iranian commander Qasem Soleimani at Baghdad International Airport, along with the deputy director of the Popular Mobilization Forces, Hajj Abu Mahdi Al Muhandis. The attack that sharply escalated tensions with Iran, leading to a mega fireworks show at the U.S. occupied Ain al Assad Air Base in Iraq, pushing Americans to reconsider their true presence in the region. Welcome to the Middle Stream, I'm Marwa Osman.